So yeah, welcome everybody. Um, my name is Spencer Fricky, and today I'm gonna talk to you guys about the hacker mentality. So first off, a little bit of who I am. I'm a senior year here studying computer engineering. I'm about to graduate in two weeks. And I've, of course, four years, been about 35 hackathons. So I think you guys can kind of infer that I really love to hack. So first off, I like to always get this off the way. This is not what hacking is. Some of you guys might have had this perception. This is not what hacking is, a terrible idea. Hacking is just the idea of making something, creating something, doing something different. Sometimes hackathons, you just do it with other people over a course you know, of a period of time. But that's generally what hacking is. And you guys might be more familiar with the MVP model as he was just talking about, you know, your minimal valuable product, where you build, you measure, and you discover. Well, hacking is the build process. Not just the build process, it's this fundamental block for every idea you have. So if you ever have a problem, you kind of hack at it, and you build that up, because your hack, at the end of the day, is not your startup. Your hack is what sparks your startup. It's what, you know, puts your startup, your idea to the next level, how you get to the next step. That's what hacking really is. And there's three main things I can break down to how to have this hacker mentality. The first thing is just to make something. I mean, literally just make anything. Because it could be anything, you know, from, you know, you, you're like, I hate spending five minutes steeping my tea. I'm gonna make th somebody steep my tea. Or maybe I want a personal website so people can, you know, see more about me. Or maybe just any, just something more crazy ambition that you, maybe you have in the back of your head. It could be anything. At the end of the day, your talk is cheap. Right now, all of you guys, including me, have very cheap talk. My point, case in point, is if I told you guys right now I'm working on a teleportation device, you guys all kind of give me some funny looks. If Elon Musk comes out tomorrow and says he's working on a teleportation device, <laughs> you might believe this. I mean, so because his talk is not cheap because he's executed and made things. So the, the moral story is to make things because it will make you more valuable in your talk. Next thing is just to try something new. A lot of times people are afraid to get outside their comfort zone. And I understand, it's hard, but you gotta be willing to just try something new and different. And this could be anything. It could be from building an app. It could be, you know, learn how to use Photoshop. It could be playing a guitar. Something you've never done before, but you wanna do. And you have to understand that, my favorite, one of my favorite quotes is, Rome wasn't built in one day. You guys live in a world of instant gratification, and sometimes it sucks, you know, trying something and realizing you're still not good at it. But you have to have that persistence and be willing to spend you know, it'll take a while before you get good at something, but you gotta just start it. And next is um, become original. And this is really hard because I think a lot of people, this is a part I think a lot of people fail at. Becoming original really, I think at the end of the day, it just means seeing a, seeing a problem and trying something different. You know, maybe there's a solution out there, but you're gonna try your own solution. This is what makes you original. It might not be better, it might be way worse, but you have an original idea. That's what makes you a maker is the, the willingness to say, you don't want to stick with the status quo, and you're gonna try something different. So what are the goals when you start doing this hacker mentality? The first thing is just get something to work. Sometimes people get lost with this whole idea of having to have it polished, how you're gonna sell it. Like he was saying, just make the cookie. Get something to work and learn from it. Because you gotta, you're gonna use this skill later. So learn from this skill. And at, also, fail. Fail when's convenient, and I really mean fail. Because at the end of the day, you're not gonna get in the first take, um, and it's not a matter if you fail, it's a matter of when you fail. If you've ever met someone who um, seems like they don't fail often, they're very successful, that means they failed so many times when you weren't looking that you just say you seem successful. People, if you're good at failing, you'll fail on a Thursday night when no one notices instead of in front of your first investor before they about to sign that check. So be willing to fail at the right time so you look successful to everybody else. So the question now is, who can hack? And the answer is you guys. But I really mean this because you wouldn't believe how many times in the course of the last three years I have this conversation where I tell people, hey, you should hack. And I just get these array of excuses, which I just like get flustered by. And the first one I get the most is I don't know anything. The first, I'm gonna say straight out, that's bullshit. Um, and what I always say right away is when did you expect to learn? Like, I think there's this false narrative that if you're taking a class, if you're not taking a class, you can't learn or I, I'll learn my first internship, or you know, it's, not my, it's not my major. That, there's just no reason for you can't not learn anything. You're also very smart. If you're, at, if you're here, you're in a university, you're pretty, I'm pretty sure you're capable of learning like, any skill you want. So it's really becoming a, now down to you want to learn it. Also, I used to not know anything. I, I mean, now I feel like I know a lot about computers, but four years ago, I went to the original Mad Hacks. It was, I've never been exposed to hacking, this hacking mentality, 
I went there. I was just taking intro level programming class. So I didn't really know anything about programming. And I wanted to build an app. I was this ambitious goal. Of, I want to build an app because I've always wanted to. It sounds cool. I didn't know how to do it. I spent 24 hours. Luckily, I had a lot of help, made a lot of mistakes, and I had this really garbage app to show. I mean, it was awful. I don't think it really worked. Um, it, it looked awful, but you know what? Four months later, after working with this skill, I got an internship building apps. So it was one of those things where I look back at it. Even though at front face value, that hackathon seemed like a failure, if it wasn't for this original hackathon, I wouldn't be here today. I wouldn't be doing half the stuff I've been doing because I needed something to kickstart my hacker mentality. So if you're going to be here next year, regardless of who you are, or what you do, I just please try to make it a mad hack. It's a great event, hacking event that will help you, you know, build out your hacker mentality. Next one I always get is, I don't have anybody to hack with. And that's fine, because at the end of the day, everybody probably has their Zen moments where they put their headphones in, they work on something themselves. That's totally cool, that's awesome. But also, there's so many groups on campus. You guys are around, this event right here is a great example of you know finding people with like-minded, or not like-minded to like clash with and find innovation with. There's also things like Mad Adventures and the Makerspace to find people, Hunter State. There's also, like you'll hear about two really cool student orgs. I mean, there's a lot of places on campus you can find people. If you're, you're, not, you're probably not exhausting all your resources yet if you say you can't find someone on campus. Also, at the end of the day, there's a lot of stuff on the internet. So there's always going to be someone around you to help with. So find, the, find them. Another one I get is, I don't know where to start. You usually have a really ambitious goal. You know, don't know where to go with it. Throw a dart at it. Start somewhere and pivot. You're not going to get anywhere. Just you know, you analyze and get you somewhere. But until you start just making and hacking, you're not going to get anywhere pro progress. So just start somewhere. And also, learn from the failures. You're going to have this point where you're going to have a project. You're going to have to take path A or path B. You're going to take path A. You're going to spend two days on it. You're going to spend five hours on it. It's going to suck. You're going to miss it. You're going to realize it was a wrong idea. You're going to backtrack, start on path B. You just wasted two full days. But know what? You learn from your mistakes, and you won't do it again. Know what's better than that? Learning from other people's mistakes. I know people don't want to be like a you know, bother and bother people, but it's like 30 seconds to ask someone, hey, I'm working on a project. Should I take path A or path B? They might not respond to you. They might say no. They might just say, hey, don't take path A. That was an awful thing. I did that last year. I wasted two days on it. Don't do that. Right there, you've learned from someone else. You learn from the mistakes of others. And this is called using your resources and a very seldom skill I see any college students use. It's, I know that, again, it's one of those skills you've got to be comfortable using. Just ask people. Learn from people. Don't, don't make the same mistake as other people. Then you're not progressing. You're wasting time. The other one I get is, I don't have a good idea. And the first thing I say is, well, it makes two of us because I hate all my ideas. They're all mediocre at best. I don't know. They're not the best things ever. But you know what? I find other people who have ideas. Other people have ideas, and they need people to work with and hack with. That's awesome. I mean, that's how co-founders are made. That's how partnerships are started. There's total, I mean, it's totally OK not having a great idea. Also, it doesn't have to be revolutionary. There's academic research, and then there's hacking. Academic, re academic research has to be revolutionary, because that's what academic research is. You're hacking. You're just building something. It can be, it can be, it can be stupid. It can you know, whatever. A Matt from Eat Street, if you know Matt, he'll tell you straight out that Eat Street, I mean, ordering food off your phone, that's not revolutionary, but they did it differently. They executed. Now they're a nationwide company. So don't be in this like realm of my idea doesn't sound, you know, awesome or you know, sexy. It can be anything. Another one I get, which I understand is not over here, is computer science, computer engineering, and that's fair, but you can hack anything. I, I want to learn how to do 3D modeling. I took an art class. Took an art class, watched some Linda.com videos. I know how to use Blender now and make 3D models. I think it's a cool skill. It's not part of the major, but you can just hack anything. And if you're worried about programming as a barrier, that's just a skill like anything else. You can learn it. You can, you know, there's a lot of resources on it, so don't let that be a barrier. And like I said, at the end of the day, it's this mentality. It's this mentality of just wanting to learn, this infinite learning mentality of you want to do something and learn, so it doesn't matter what major you actually are. Another one I get is, I don't have time, which I understand, not everybody has you know, a full weekend to spend at a hackathon or enjoys it as much as I probably do. But you, know, you have Thursday nights, we have like three hours to kill. You, know, you could be like most people, maybe catch up on some Netflix, maybe play some Fortnite, or you can be the people who spend that three hours learning a new skill. You know, taking take that initiative to like try something different, to hack at something, 
That's what incrementally makes you, that hacker mentality will, and you look back in a year and you'll see how much you progress. I like those moments. Also, time constraints force great ideas. The Transcend competition is my favorite example. There's no way any of, these any of these teams would have everything done by April, like a business plan, a presentation, a prototype. If there wasn't a competition in April saying, hey, you got to have this done by April 3rd or you know, no money. So time constraints are great. They're great force to force you ideas. Also, you guys are adults. You guys should have some time management skills by now. So it's really up to you to put the pri your priorities straight. So with that, here's a, this is kind of the hack. This is my nutshell of the hacker mentality. There's like a few things I want you to take away from this. First, use your resources. If you have a .edu, a .edu email, milk the crap out of that. Seriously, that's like the best advice I got is you have a student email, just email people. What, what, I mean, they're, they're more likely to respond to you. Also, there's so many resources on campus. Things like, did, if, you like if you want to become, you want to learn how to like take photography, you can go to the college library for free and rent out a DSLR camera. That's something most people don't have the access to for free. So yeah, use your resources as students. I've used them. I've got to go all over the country for hackathons. That's one resource I, was, I got provided and I took advantage of it. So definitely, again, can't stress that enough. Next one, good things take time. I mean, the, the same is like the best time to plant an apple orchard is 40 years ago. Next best time is right now. Because at the end of the day, every day you're going to get better or every day you're going to get worse. So tomorrow, Monday, take a skill that you want to learn, spend 10 minutes on it. Just start somewhere. Watch a video. Read something about it. The, sec the later you start, the long longer it's going to take for you to get to a proficient level. So remember, just start somewhere and just realize it's going to take a while. Lastly, don't fear failure. You guys have been programmed since day one to not fail exams, you know, to win, win your events. That's fine. That's great on a, great, on a large scale. But you know, hacking is that hacking mentality is that idea of just being afraid of not being afraid to fail because you're gonna do it when no one cares. Fail when no one cares because you're hacking. Succeed at the end when it matters. Lastly, at the end of the day, it's up to you guys. This is what I've done in the last four years to really embrace the hacker mentality. I've enjoyed it immensely. I'll probably continue it forever. But it's a mentality that I really hope you guys take up. But it's, again, it's up to you. Um, thank you, and you guys are more than welcome to email me if you ever had questions or want to talk. I'd be more than happy to talk.